The folks at Zebra have done something that is pretty amazing, and this is making Zebra VDB totally free for indie creators and anyone that is earning less than 100,000. And the idea behind this is for creators to take advantage of their high performance tool and start creating amazing looking visuals. And that brings us to what the high performance tool actually does, which is compressing VDB. And VDB, volumetric data, is something that we've seen a lot of times as this brings that smoke, fire and water simulation that you've always wanted to work with have a bit of depth when you compose or actually work with them in your 3D environment. And this can be seen in virtual production, CGI and gaming. And folks at Zebra VDB have actually created a very clever way of compressing your VDBs without frying your processor or the program you're working with. And that brings us to the Zebra VDB compression technique which is now currently seen as state of the art, as this allows you to simply compress high density data to a much more friendly sized data. And this technology is what they're handing out to indie creators totally for free. And so if you simply go over to the link in the description, it's going to bring you right here where you'll be able to see and read upon some of the cool things that they can do. And for the compression, you can see the original size of the file itself. And when we get to compress this by 20% or even 40%, you barely notice any change in the visual itself. But for the size, there's a huge jump and this is super amazing. And to get this is super easy as all you need to do is to go over to the pricing section and you can see that we've got the one set to personal. And this plugin is currently available for Unreal Engine and Houdini. So right here, we can click on get free license. And this is going to bring us to a brand new page where we'll be able to enter our email and get the license delivered to our inbox. And over here, we'll be able to download this from Fab or you can get this as part of the side effects lab. And so for this particular video, we're going to talk about how you can work with this with Unreal Engine with a couple of interesting examples. So first off, once you add this to your Unreal Engine library, you can now install it in your Unreal Engine. In this case, we're choosing Unreal Engine 5.6. And so once we have this installed and then we open up a project, we can simply go over to edit, go over to plugin and look for the word Zebra. We would like to restart Unreal Engine for this particular one. And so once we have that done, we are also going to go back and find the word Zebra just to make sure that it's fully installed. And once you have this installed, this is where you now have to install the license. We'll go back to edit, go over to where we have our project settings and right inside of our project settings, we need to find the Zebra licensing. We need to enter the license number that was sent to your email. And so once you have that, press the enter key and you're fully licensed. And here is where we get to start exploring all of the things that we can do with Zebra. So first off, we need to go over to tools, go all the way down here and you notice that we've got Zebra VDB. And what we'd like to do is to import the VDB sequence that we downloaded from the folks at Yanga FX. And of course, if you'd like to get it, you can simply go over to download, go over to where we have the free VDB asset. And from here, you'll be able to download them. The one we got is the 6.6 gig aerial explosion heavy stuff. We also got a couple of other ones, but you know, this is pretty heavy and this might just be the right one to put Zebra VDB to the test with. Come back to Unreal Engine, go over to the file path, click on this button and find it. And right here we have it. I'm simply going to select one and then click on open and this is automatically going to populate it. The quality of what we want, we can set it up from here. So we could say maybe we'll like it 0.6, looks pretty cool. And right here is where the compression actually starts. So for that, I'm going to click on compress. And this is going to start compressing that 6.6 .6 gig of VDB file. And the compression takes a couple of minutes to be done. And once this compression is done, you now notice that we have a brand new Zebra VDB file within our content browser. As so all we need to do is just click, drag, drop it into our viewport. And automatically you can see this is playing back. Like if we zoom all the way out, you can see this is pretty, pretty huge. This is a large data file. So we're going to reduce this by simply coming right here, locking the scale, and I'm going to set this to 0.1. And so once we have that there, I can raise this all the way up and you can see that. And this runs pretty smooth right here in our viewport. And you might be wondering, what's the size like on disk? Okay, so let's hit save on this. And then we're going to right click, go over to where we have show in Explorer. And we're going to simply bring this right in so you guys can see that. So right in here, you can see that the file on disk is 107 megabytes as compared to having that 6.6 .6 gig on your drive. And this is pretty, pretty huge. Now you can go ahead and bring in as many files that you like to work with. And the beautiful thing with this is instead of you bringing in the VDB file and then getting the heterogeneous volume, doing all of that stuff, creating materials and all, you know, all of that. 
you just simply use the Zebra VDB tool to get that VDB file right inside of Unreal Engine. And this sorts out every single thing for you from how this gets to be presented all the way to compressing it and making it a much more light and useful file for your Unreal Engine project. More so, the folks at Zebra also have some very nice VDB effects that you can work with just in case you like to get on with those ones. So this is going to take you over to a Google Drive where you'll be able to download the VDB files that they have. And those VDB files are pretty interesting. So in this case, we already downloaded a few of those and we can go in and get them right inside of Unreal Engine so you can see that. So for that, we're going to go over to Tools, go over to where we have the Zebra VDB and we're going to bring in the Zebra VDB file. And actually, before we bring that in, you can have this selected. So whatever VDB file you bring in, you can have it selected. You can right click and you can simply export it as a Zebra VDB file, which is definitely going to help you in the long run. So if you like to reuse your compressed VDBs, you can always have access to these and use them for different projects. So let's go ahead and export some of those sample Zebra VDB files. I'm going to look at them within the file part. So within this file part, we have them right here and I can simply select any of them, click on open and then click on import. And you know, because it's already the Zebra thing, it is pretty quick, it imports rapidly really really quick he brings it in so we can have that and we can make as many copies as we want actually we can just move this right in there and i can tap f on the keyboard to frame in on that one and you can see how quick that brings it in and the file on disk itself is also pretty light let's go ahead and get some more so i can go back there go over to import import some of these other ones so i'm just going to hit that import button let's go back to vdb sample shockwave looks cool so i can drag that in and you can see the importing is just pretty, pretty quick. So that is basically what this tool is all about, offering creators a nicer way of working with VDBs inside of tools like Unreal Engine and of course, Dini. And to any of these ones that you have, you can simply double click and then access the detail section where you can make changes. So if you like to make certain changes to this, you can definitely double click on any of them, depending on what you want. Maybe you like to drop the compression, increase the compression, you can do all of that. At the same time, you can turn on several channels. So you've got some of the channels here. You can have access to them. You can play with the channels as well. And these are definitely going to be super useful for those who like to do more stuff. Now let's go ahead and import one more file. So we're getting the Embergen gasoline explosion. And it's about 700 plus megabytes of data. So let's see, we're going to get that. And we're going to bring that right inside Unreal Engine by simply using Ziva. So we already have that file. So we're just going to do that, do the simple compression like we did earlier. And we have it right here. And of course, with this, I'm just going to drag this and drop it right into our viewport. It's still large. So we're going to lock that in. And for this one, I'm just going to have that selected. For this one, I'm going to do the 0.1 just so that everyone can see that. And you can see it is looking pretty cool. So the gasoline explosion with embergen looks good so you can do your stuff with embergen and do your compression right in here amazing stuff and by default if you're just wondering what again is the file size on this particular one of course i can tell you so i'm just going to drag this right back in and you can see for the embergen one this is 42 megabytes so 42 megabytes as against 700 plus megabytes, that is a huge, huge difference. So one of the questions you guys might be asking is, is this source dependent? And the answer is no, this is not source dependent. This is not referencing the main VDB to actually perform anything. It is literally just compressing and having a file of its own. And that is why we can actually import those VDB assets that we did import earlier. So for those who are thinking about getting this, you can simply go ahead and check this out right now. The folks at Zebra, they've actually made this one super interesting and making it available for indie is sort of making it totally free for a whole lot of people. So you can now start working with your VDBs quickly, easily, right inside of Unreal Engine. And I think this is definitely something a lot of you guys would love to see or possibly work with. So this is it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Links to all of this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. And of course, links to also a couple of other interesting contents as well. It's also going to be in the description, especially for those who like to get stuff from the folks at Humble Bundle. They've got some cool stuff going on right now. So just in case you like to get that, then you can simply go ahead and check them out. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.